Okay, so here we go. We're going to be practicing the pronunciation of nationalities in Spanish, almost all of which are cognates, with the possible exception of Alemán, which is German, and Estadounidense, which refers to a U.S. citizen. Estadounidense comes from Estados Unidos, which is United States in Spanish. So we're going to focus on three main aspects of the nationalities, which are, number one, they are not capitalized as they are in English. Okay, notice Argentino with no capital letter and Argentinian with a capital letter in English. Some of them also have written accents which need to be pronounced, as in Alemán, and that would be in comparison to Alemán. You hear the spoken accent on the last A, not on the first A, Alemán. And lastly, but not least, most of them are orientated to feminine or masculine, depending on who they are describing. So like our other adjectives, if it ends in O, like Argentino or Australiano, we can also change that to an A if we're describing a woman or a feminine object. If it ends in an E or in another consonant, like Alemán, Costa Ricense, Estadounidense, Nicaragüense, those would be unisex and we would use them to describe males and females, or masculine and feminine objects. So let's get started. Alemán, Argentino, Australiano, Boliviano, Canadiense, Chileno, Chino, Colombiana, Coreana, Costarricense, Cubana, Dominicano, Ecuatoguineano, Ecuatoriano, Español, or Española, Estadounidense, Francés, or Francesa, Guatamanteco, Hondureña, Indio, Inglesa, Italiano, Japonés, Mexicano, Nicaragüense, Panameño, Paraguayo, Peruano, Portuguesa, Puertorriqueño, Puertorriqueña, Salvadoreño, Uruguayo o Venezolano. For example, Antonio Villarraigosa, the third Mexican-American mayor of Los Angeles and the first in 130 years, we would describe as Mexicano, ending in O because he's masculine. Antonio Villarraigosa es Mexicano. We would describe Jennifer Lopez, who's feminine, as Jennifer Lopez es puertorriqueña. Or if we wanted to be more accurate, we could say la familia 
de Jennifer Lopez es puertorriqueña. Jennifer Lopez es estadounidense. Pitbull, a bilingual hip hop house artist, we would describe as cubano. Pitbull es cubano, ending an O because he's masculine. Or again, if we wanted to be more accurate, we could say la familia de Pitbull es cubana. Since family is feminine, we would describe the family as cubana, but Pitbull as cubano. Carlos Baute, another bilingual artist, we would describe as venezolano. He's masculine, so the nationality ends in O. Carlos Baute es venezolano. Miguel Algarín, as we're learning, is Puerto Rican. He is masculine, so we would describe him as puertorriqueño, ending in O. Miguel Algarín es puertorriqueño. All of the artists and politicians that we've seen are examples of bilingual contributors to society. Miguel Algarín, Pitbull, Jennifer Lopez, Carlos Baute, Antonio Villarraigosa, son bilingües.